Ken Burkholder here at the Vice, and I'm going to be tying the 2011 winner of the bar fly competition held in Swan Valley, Idaho every summer. It's a fun contest. Usually the participants are guides, and we just have a vise set up. We have all the same materials to be used, identical to be used by everyone and you have a five minute limit to tie a fly. And this is the winner for 2011. It's called a train wreck, which really is a pretty good name for this fly considering it's really ugly, stupid looking, but it works and works effectively. In fact, it's so ugly and works so well every time you catch a fish with it is just humorous I just laugh it's hilarious so it's kinda like a Chernobyl ant type bug but what separates this from all the others are the sheer volume of legs on this baby We don't disclose the winners every year. We don't even disclose the participants. There are no prizes aside from a blue ribbon. Let's tie this on, kind of Chernobyl ant style. Go to the middle, tie it off. Go to the head, tie it off. And cross over here, just makes it easy. Cross back over, make a little X. I'm going to trim the end, because once you get all the legs on, it's kind of tough to do. these on the side a bunch of them look at that that's ridiculous Tie this off. Center it on the hook. And super glue it. Keep it from twisting. Start on your head again. All the legs need to be out of the way. That's kind of the tricky part. Now take your EP fibers, tie that on top. His legs get kind of in the way. Trim your head in a square manner. Tie it 
Tie this off. Trim the wing, glue the wing and the head, and you've got a ridiculous fly. And cutthroat eat this thing up. I mean, they, they really, I don't know what they think it's for. I don't know what they think it is, but they sure do eat it. The 2011 winner of the Barfly Competition in Swan Valley, Idaho.